Hello, fire signs, or whoever decided to check this out for the fire within you, the creative energy, that spiritual flow. That's what this is about. So we're going to start this with, generally speaking, for the fire within you and fire signs. If you have fire heavy in your chart or someone you're thinking of does and you're tuning in for that. And we're going to start here with the angel numbers. Um, I have dice right here. We're going to just roll the dice for the fire signs. What numbers should you look out for? And you can look them up and whatever whatever it comes up on your Google search or however you search. Um, I recommend you finding your what you're drawn to and then seeing what these numbers mean to you. And I'll let you know what I get from them. So we have the number six. So that's balance, peace, reciprocity, uh, you know, beauty, blessings. Okay, with that six coming in. So we have the six energy here. We have the number 12, which 12 may mean something to you or two plus one is three. That's creativity, exactly what fire is, that empress energy, creativity, expansion, growth, divine timing, collaborations. So it's, it's coming into balance. And then we have seven, which is lucky number seven, a spiritual number here. And that is learning the lessons and making decisions, making balanced decisions, trusting that in the right time, you'll know when it is to move forward. And, and learning all the lessons and turning it into wisdom along the way. So 6, 12, and 7, or 6, 3, and 7, okay? And what are the main energy spirit for the fire signs? And this can, you know, this is now, you know, for the next six months is, is what they're telling me. So Emerald Dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. Okay, so this is for everyone, right? And then I am going to timestamp it and have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius special messages just so you know. But for the collective fire energy, there is healing and abundance coming in. Good fortune is coming. Yeah, it's the month for that. I, it's every reading it's coming out. It's, it's just beautiful energy here. So the Emerald Dragon and the omega dragon harness the divine feminine power of creation that empress energy with that three that's incredible intention hold your vision birth the higher consciousness when you have pure intentions and you live your life with integrity and you hold yourself in alignment with who you are with source energy and balance and unconditional love and you focus on what you want in your life and you live in the present moment and move forward when spirit guides you it's it's wow you are creating your the life that you want your dreams are coming true so the omega dragon here is with you angels are blessing you and then one last message here for the main energy royal blue and gold dragon strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom awaken your own majesty Wear your cloak of power with pride. Yes, you're stepping into your power. You're strong. Everything you've been through was part of the plan just to build you up and give you that wisdom. All those lessons with that number seven, that was part of your awakening. It was part of your growth into mastery. Okay? You are the queen. You are the king. Wear your power with pride and integrity. So, wow. Wow. And you deserve all this abundance that's coming in. That's what Spirit's saying. You deserve it. And at the bottom, just for an extra, extra message here for you, fire signs or the fire within you, Kuan Yin's pink dragon brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. Like that, that firm love, that not tough love in the sense of I'm going to, I'm just going to love you through it. Spirit's going to love you through it. Just love yourself through anything and everything because love is the most powerful energy of all. See all your cords dissolve by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look for love in all you do and all that you are. 
Okay, so those are the main energies, the main angel numbers for the fire signs. Now we're going to move through each sign. You can listen to them all as a story for yourself, or you can listen to them individually. We're going to start with Aries here, and there were some cards pre-picked, and then we're going to use a little bit of tarot. Okay, so the 6, 12, and 7, we'll move over. Okay, so for Aries, what's being activated? Dynamic, 23, things are changing, blessed changes. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. Exactly from the beginning messages for everybody. It's like taking all of that wisdom that you've already learned along the way, you know, all that knowledge, all that wisdom, all those lessons, but then blending it with something completely new, a new start, a new way of looking at things, a new world. You're creating it. And it's dynamic, powerful energy right now, Aries. Empowerment. Yes, this is stepping into your power, just like the royal blue and gold dragon says. Like, strengthen you and stand in your power with wisdom. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely, uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. Yeah. You're empowered because you know that the universe is working with you, that you are co-creating with all that is, that we are all one. That is powerful. That is empowering. And prosperity, look at that. Wow. Cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Prosperity. I mean, come on. Gorgeous energy. The frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and the riches that the universe provides. Yeah. And we have a five, the blessed changes. We have an eight, manifestation, personal power, right? All of that infinite intelligence working with you, and then you have prosperity. The ending of any difficult, challenging times in this opening up of this of this new beginning. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's move these up for you, Aries. What else has is being activated for you? Illumination. A 23, same number. Look, same number under the same number. 23 may mean something to you, but five. This is blessed changes. This is expect the unexpected. Things are changing expression, positivity, and joy, inspiration. So inspiration is coming. By you focusing on positive and joy, happiness, expressing yourself as you are, the beautiful light being that you are, things will change. So illumination on a way forward. The root portal is open right now. See, new beginnings in the material world, all your lower chakras, grounding all that spiritual wisdom, all those lessons into your physical reality for stability and survival vitality being restored good health 33 is a master number by empowering yourself stepping into your power making decisions that are highest and best for you and everyone else involved and bringing love into it you're leveling up to a high level of mastery and look at that wisdom and another master number wow 33 and 44 Holy moly, whoever is listening to this, you are powerful. You are psychic. You are intuitive. You are a truth teller. And the truth is being illuminated to you now. Prosperity is coming. Abundance is coming. Good fortune, good health. Everything you've been wanting is coming. That's your truth. And you've learned a lot and you're wise. Trust that. 44 leveling up and four plus four eight you're manifesting your dreams i mean that that's what spirit really wants to say and let's just get some supporting messages for you aries on your journey whenever you're listening to this is the perfect time and i do encourage you to listen to all aspects air earth and water as well because they will give you different messages and look at that three cards come out how perfect is spirit for you wow so these are the three main energies wow okay yeah look at that the illusion of entrapment. You're not trapped. There's a way out. The door is opening. Get out of your head and into your heart. See, that's bring that love into it, that Kuan Yin energy that we, that we felt at the beginning. The illusion of entrapment. 
a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now, take your power back now, because eight is about personal power. See, take your power back, take off the blindfolds, get clear with what you want and move forward. There's a way out. There's a way out of your head. The negative devil, lower vibration energy only lives in your head. So look with her beautiful pink dress, that Kuan Yin energy, that unconditional love energy, right? Bring love into it and it will set you free. And Archangel Shamriel is with you. And then Archangel Raguel is with you saying, do what you love. Divine collaborations, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. Yes, when you live your life with integrity and you put love into it and you empower yourself and you move forward and express yourself and shine your light, I mean, divine collaborations coming, you're being recognized. Spirits like you blow on the horn. The angels are recognizing you for your work and you will be paid. That's that abundance and prosperity. So believe it. Things are changing. You're not trapped in your circumstances by you taking steps forward, taking your power back, you know, holding that vision, knowing what you deserve, right? And be living a life with integrity. You will be blessed. And yeah, Aries, you're going through a grand awakening, okay? There may be a temporary pause. This is Shamuel coming in again. For reflection. Yeah, anytime there's a pause, it's an opportunity to reflect, to learn, to grow, to release. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. Charitable actions. Okay? So you're going to receive charitable actions. You may be working with the charity. You may, all this abundance that you're calling in. You're going to be able to do what you want in your light worker or humanitarian work. But this is a grand awakening that you are going through. And I believe with this divine collaboration that someone else, other people in your life are going through as well. And then there's just coming together and everything changes. Wow. Those are beautiful. I'm going to clean these up. And we're going to move to... Leo. Okay, Leo. What do we got here? What's being activated? Gaia. Things changing in the earthly plane. Things manifesting with Gaia, Mother Earth energy. 28 is a 10. Endings for new beginnings. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So this is that oneness, getting out in Mother Earth, connecting with the plants, the animals will really help bring you this healing and this cosmic abundance. Abundance and beauty is all around you. Appreciating that brings more in. So all of that beautiful energy, something being activated in the earthly plane in your physical reality right now that's going to change things. Okay, there it is. Divine Feminine, look at that. We got that 12, that's a 321, that's a mirroring effect. Wow, that's gorgeous energy, expansion and growth, creative energy flowing through you, creation itself. Harness the divine feminine power of creation, the Omega Dragon. Yes, harness this. You are creating the reality that you desire. The frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. So by tapping into your emotional body, right, the divine feminine within, letting go of fears and, and insecurities and any false realities that live in your head, focusing on that unconditional love and Mother Earth Gaia, this, this divine mother energy, mother yourself, nurture yourself. You call everything you want to you. Allow yourself to receive. Coherence, 13, death and rebirth. Death of the old and a rebirth into three plus one is four. Balance, stability, the angels are with you. The frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. Again, heart and mind, oneness with Mother Earth, oneness with the universe, oneness with yourself and your own energies. And there is a beautiful rebirth. So there's balance coming to your head and your heart. Balance and healing, right? And then you're being guided. Yeah, you have galactic guidance. Your star family, Leo, is with you, assisting you. You're co-creating, helping you find the right words to say with all this throat chakra energy. You are of the stars. 
18 is a nine. That's a very spiritual number. Growing, expanding, leveling up. You're ascending and you're being assisted right now. They're assisting you to make things happen in the earthly plane, Leo. And reflective truth. Yeah. Reflecting with yourself about your truth. And a 31, look at 21 and 12 mirroring one another. 13 and 31. Okay, there is someone in your life. This could be twin flames because this is Gemini twins. But there is someone in your life that you are connected to. Could be a best friend. Could be a family member. That is really reflecting back to you what needs to be healed within you. And encouraging you to find your truth. To find the balance with the masculine feminine within. The shadows and light within. Identity, self-love and acceptance. Accepting yourself as you are. Loving yourself as you are. Accepting others as they are. And, and speaking your truth. Wow. Look at two, two. I mean, just saying. And look at this. New beginnings, Leo. A new adventure. A portal is opening. Innocence, play, discovery. Oh my gosh, this is what you wanted. This is the rebirth. Ah, new adventures. Look, you have the key. And it's like, look at, it's that. Come on. It's like your, your twin, your best friend, your higher self, whatever you want to consider this, wants to go on an adventure with you. Look, it's you and you. You and someone perfect for you. I mean, wow. These are amazing. I love spirits so much. Okay, I'm going to um, shuffle the tarot here while you reflect on that a little bit. There may be a need to go within Leo and reflect and let go of things that aren't serving you right? Harness that divine feminine power of creation. Trust your intuition. Open your heart to this new adventure, to this portal opening, these new beginnings. And let's see what spirit wants to confirm for you. Oh my God, look, Leo, see? Oh God, we love you. Thank you. Happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children. Okay, so coming together with your children as well, if there's been any kind of disconnect, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust, Archangel Jofield, Ten of Cups, that's having it all. Look at all those blessings of prosperity and abundance, the, the home you want, and be happy, bringing kids together, having babies. And like I felt, there are people, you two coming together that are a perfect pair, twins. You may be having twins. I don't know, you may be a twin, or this is about twin flame soulmate, coming together, happy home, healing things in the home. Wow, okay. Whenever you're listening to this is a perfect time, remember that. And Spirit's saying for the next six months that all these things are going to transform and it's just beautiful. Look at all this abundance. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. So whatever you're investing in now, this home, this happiness, this this connection with someone and you're putting in the effort, your, your creative projects, your work, you will be rewarded. That's what Spirit's saying. You're about to get the mother load. The need for patience as it grows, as, as you blossom, as you bloom, as this relationship blossoms and bloom, be patient. Go with the flow of it. Don't try to rush things, right? A time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. Yeah, plan for the future. Hold that vision. This is, you got this. It's, it's happening. And then here we go. Seven of Wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. Ariel is working with you. This is the seven of wands to me. I love it because this is standing your ground. This is you rising above any conflict, anything that's not serving you. Learning those lessons of that seven. See that seven coming out? And this is a rebirth where you're standing in your power with integrity, with love, confidence, confidence in yourself, confidence in the direction you're going, the decisions you're making. And if someone challenges you, it's okay to step up and meet them eye to eye. But choose wisely. Is it worth it? And I feel like that's where spirit's having you refocus. What's really important? Is it really going to do you any good to battle with that person? If you feel like you need to stand up for yourself, do that. But if you feel like it's a waste of time, focus on yourself. And that, that's kind of a message that I'm getting. 
but this is what you're meant for. This is what's coming in. So know that everything you're learning now, seven, 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 it's a lucky time to manifest. It's a lucky time to make decisions, to move forward, to invest, to, to you know, pay attention to the details and figure out where you want to put your focus next because you are manifesting having it all. Okay. Wow. I really like those for you, Leo. So we're going to put these back over here and clean up and we're going to move um, to Sagittarius next. Okay. Sagittarius to go on with the first messages that we got next six months. What can you expect within the next six months? Magic. Yes. 31 is a four. That is the angels are with you, creating magic, co-creating with you, protecting you, bringing stability into your world, mind, body, heart, and soul. You are magical. You are the magician, Sagittarius. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move towards possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. Believe it. Hold your vision, live in the energy of magic and abundance and love and good health and prosperity and fortune. Take the steps you're divinely guided to take and it will manifest. That's what Spirit's saying. Harness your power of creation. Earth. You know, Leo got Gaia. So yeah, things are changing in the earthly plane for the collective. The frequency of earth activates our deep connection to the physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature. So blending what you know from your higher mind, from God, from source energy, from the angels, from your star family, from your ancestors, from your loved ones and bringing it into the earthly plane. And 24 is another card of balance. Four is a balance, right? 31 is a four. This is six. Reciprocity balance coming in, good health, right? Peace. And a higher level of consciousness, growing your consciousness, expanding, growing. That's what we came here to do. There is magic in your consciousness, being conscious of the choices you're making, being conscious of your higher mind perspective. And 17 is an eight. That's manifestation, infinite intelligence working with you, the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. Yeah, taking all that you know and bringing it together and bringing it into the earthly plane. And like magic, your life changes. Exploration. There's a 15. There's another six. Yeah, exploring things, being bold, diving deep into the unknown limitless potential for you, limitless op opportunity for you of beauty and blessings coming in when you jump right into the magic. I mean, wow, it's a beautiful time for you, Sagittarius. Magical realms, belief, confidence, co-creative power. You are a powerful manifester and you are working with spirit in, a, in an incredible way to manifest your dreams. Believe it. 28 is a 10, ending of certain cycles to bring in these new peaceful, balanced beginnings. That castle that you want, the, the life that you want, whatever you're working on. Look at that. It's magic and magical realms. Wow, Sagittarius, you are magical. <laughs> no doubt about it. And here it is, the sacral portal. 34 being a 7, another 7 coming through, right? This is it. This is the new portal. This is exploring your creative side, your sensual side, your sexual side, uh, opening up to being intimate with yourself first and then with a lover. This is sacred love, sacred sexual union, inhibitions, letting go of them, expressing yourself in that beautiful, magical way that you do, Sagittarius. You're, you're gorgeous, you know, like that queen of wands, like just, just going after it, making decisions, that divine feminine energy, that this is it. Let this creative energy move through you. You are leveling up to a higher level of mastery and consciousness. It's beautiful. So during this time period, the next six months, it's so much magic and things are going to manifest in the earthly plane and you're just going to be leveling up the whole entire time, which is exactly what we came here to do. I hope that you've enjoyed these. We're going to get your tarot messages 
reach out to me anytime for personal reading or healing. Let me tell you, they're on point, coaching session, whatever you need. I even work with animals to help them heal. So let me know. Well, this one kind of came off to the side. So this is like a side message here. There is new beginnings. There's a new opportunity, a new path, happiness, joy, sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody. So maybe, you know, maybe you're moody. Maybe someone's been moody. You know, it could be a child too, right? Messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. So yeah, you're going to be invited out. You're going to go to something. There's new, there's new experiences that are waiting for you. That's what spirit wants you to know. But look at what you're on path for. Oh, my Lord, have mercy, Sagittarius. Yes, claim it. Ten of Cups. Happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, um, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. Perhaps some of you are like me and have a moody teenager, and it's just all going to work out. <laughs> Believe you me, it's all going to work out. <laughs> Look at this, you, this is you, in your energy, the wheel, getting that wheel turning, a fresh new start, the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel, relocation, a new vehicle, you're moving forward. Wow, the 1010 portal is open for abundance, baby, manifesting this masculine, if you're a feminine, this perfect husband, this good partner, look, come on, a happy marriage, this is marriage compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and grounded. So if you're already with someone, higher level of commitment. There's more stability coming into your home. There's fortunate times coming. You're growing, expanding, and enjoying the sacred sexual union, right? If you're single or this is what you're manifesting and you want higher level, it's coming in. The Ten of Cups, having it all. Fortune, fortune, you know, good luck. Destiny's on your side here. A time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, good person to work for. So a good boss, an opportunity there, a good business partner, husband, I mean, it's having it all. I'm telling you, you're on path to have it all. So claim it. And I'm sending you all so much love.